I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is January 18th, 2020. In this video, I'm going to be going, to, I'm going over installing Grafana on Ubuntu 2004. Okay, so let's get right into it. I'm, I'm not going to do a lot of complex things. I'm just installing Grafana. Um, I'm not installing uh, anything else in the back like a Prometheus. I'm just raw installing Grafana and not doing much with it. Um, I am changing a couple of config files though because I do have a secondary hard drive and I do want to move some of my directories into there. So there'll be a few configuration changes, but not much. Uh, also, I'll be installing a couple of plugins and that's about all I'm going to do on this. So with that, uh, if you're unfamiliar with this, go to grafana.com. Uh, also, there's a Grafana downloads page here, Grafana, uh, grafana.com, Grafana downloads. And I'll put links in the show notes to this as I do all this. So here I have, here I am on my uh, Prometheus server I set up. And first of all, just to show what's going on, I'll do an LSB release A just to show I am on Ubuntu 2004. So what we're going to do here is we'll go over here to the Grafana downloads page. And here you can go down here and you can actually choose which one you want. I'm just choosing the latest, no reason to choose anything otherwise. But if you want to go back and choose something else, you can. Uh, or, and then down here, click on your Linux, and they kind of nicely uh, put some information here on what you need to do, because you need to install a lib font, lib font config user, and here's the wget to get this. Oh, don't do that. Uh, and so they give you some nice little instructions here to install it, so we'll be following that. But, you know, it's nice they do that. Uh, but you may want to change your instructions, because it might be two years from now, they might be on 8.5, so you may want to go 8.5. So uh, with that... Here we go. We'll come over here. I'll do a wget and we'll kind of copy that link here. Bam. So that should pull everything down. And then we'll do a sudo. Uh, oh. Do a sudo clear here so I can get in there. There we go. So do a sudo app dash get install dash yes add user. Uh, lib font config one, which I could have copied over here, right there. Could have just copied it. Run that guy, and oh, ah, see, should have copied it because I didn't type it correctly. There we go. Okay, so right here I should have the Debian package, and so now I do a sudo. Well, let me go back. I'll just literally copy this. There we go. And let it install. Okay, so now it should have a system D set up on this. So sudo system control status uh, Grafana server. Boom, and we should see system which you see it's there but it's of course not running right now so now what I want to do is I want to enable it because I want to enable it so it'll start on reboot so I can do the sudo uh, system controls enable enable Grafana server oh, Grafana, see misspelling there we go Grafana server now, if I go do a status on that again, I should see it's now enabled. So we're good for our reboot. Okay, so now let's go do a start. Let me clear this out so you can see better. So now we'll start it. Boom. If it starts up, we can go look at a status again. And we can see now it's running. So hooray. Um, now what I'm going to do is I want to look at it locally. So. I'm going to actually ex exit my Prometheus server here locally. I'm going to log back into it. What I could do is, if I knew the IP address that locally, I could actually go to that IP address. So I go to HTTP, uh, if it was 192.168.0.20, I could go there, call on 3000 and bring it up and view it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my life a little easier. I'm going to go pull ports. So I'll do localhost 3000. So I'm going to pull that port locally so I can reference it locally. So now I should be able to go uh, localhost 3000, boom, pull it up, there we go. And from here I can log in with admin, admin, so username admin, password admin, log in, and there we are logged in. So I don't know why it's 
should go to my page. Let me refresh it here. There we go. So now you can see I'm logged in. Here's my user down here. I am the admin. So that far, that so far worked. Now let me do a couple of tweaks. So what I can do is I can go over here and I can go back and look at my status. If I look at my status, I can also see right here is my system D file for that. So I want to copy that and do a and go look at it to see where how it's actually running and what's it doing. Oh, I had a well technically that semicolon didn't matter. Okay, so we can see here's the information, blah blah. blah. Here's the environmental file. That's gonna be important. It's running as a Grafana, as a Grafana user. It'll restart on failure. There's the working directory, which I'm not going to change it right now. And the rest of it, you know, nothing particular interesting. But here, I'm going to go to this environmental file. Let me click this file and do a sudo by. Let me go see what we have in here. Ah. So here's where I personally want to change some things. You don't need to. Depends on what your setup is, because what you would probably take is this basic setup and tweak it to what you want to do. Um, so me, I want to change a couple of things. Oh, stop. Okay, I want to change a couple of things. Uh, one, if I go down here to the uh, Grafana home, I'm leave that as is. Log directory, that's fine. Uh, data directory. So I want to change this data directory. So what I'll do is I'll leave the old one here, but I'll put a pound sign in front of it just so it's commented out. And actually, I want to change this to uh, Prometheus. Prometheus. Because uh, I do plan on installing Prometheus later, but I haven't yet. So Prometheus Grafana uh, data. And I'll leave that as as. Uh, configuration directory, leave it as is. Uh, comp file, I want to change that. So I'll change that to Prometheus. That's what my notes say. Prometheus Grafana, yeah, Grafana sign AI. We start an upgrade, true. Uh, and I also want to change the plug instructory. So I'll change that to Prometheus, Prometheus Grafana plugins. There we go. Okay, so now we'll save it as is, and I will stop Grafana from running. That way I need to stop and start it so I can pick up those changes. But in the meantime, I do need to actually make those directories. So let me do make directory dash P. Uh, and if you do a dash P in a make directory, It'll make all the subdirectories. So, for example, here I only have Prometheus. I don't have anything else here, but I want to make Prometheus Grafana data, and that dash p will guarantee that the Grafana, which doesn't exist right now, will get made that folder right there. Uh, let's see. I'll make a plugins directory too, and then I will change the owner uh, to Grafana Grafana. Front of Prometheus, Prometheus, Grafana. There we go. And then I also want to, uh, well, move. I'll move it because move the Grafana, etc. Grafana, Grafana INI file because we moved where that's going to be and move it to Prometheus and Grafana. Boom. So now we move that. So we should be good to go. And if I, I don't think I need to change anything there right now. No, I mean, I, there's some INI file stuff we could change, but for this video, we're not going to do anything special. Um, the only other thing I want to do is install some plugins that I like to use for right now. Uh, and if you need some plugins, you can go to the Grafana Labs and you can actually go to their plugins. And in particular, these plugins I'm going to install, there's one called Diagram and there's one called PyChart. Now, what you can do is you can... If you can, if you can look up the name in here, you can go install them via the command line tool. I've already done that. So what I can do is I can say sudo Grafana uh, CLI dash dash. Uh, well, I can do this. I can say plugins. I'm going to fix this in a second. Install, and the diagram one happens to be called that. That'll work, but what it's going to do is going to use the default location where it's going to put plugins. But I made a plugin directory, so I actually want to move that. <clears throat> so I'll come in here and say dash, 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 <coughs> plugins directory, Prometheus, Grafana, plugins, boom. And now it looks a little funky, but I run that. I didn't like something about that. Okay. 
All right, let's do it all again. So Grafana, CLI, dash dash plugins, directory, Prometheus, Prometheus Grafana plugins. And then we do, uh, let me finish the rest of this. Plugins, install, JD. Now I need to copy that because I'm not gonna. Boom, okay, that should work. There we go, so now it's installing it in the correct location. And then we'll do the same thing for this other guy, sudo Grafana, CLI, Plugins, directory, Prometheus, Grafana, plugins, and then plug in, plugins, install, Grafana, pie chart, dash panel. Uh, for those who may not be familiar enough with your command line, <clears throat> this little uh, back tick here. This is for you, the viewers who are watching this video. You don't need to do that back tick. All that back tick says is, hey, ignore this back tick, go to another line, and so you can make it more readable. This is just about basically a carriage return that gets ignored. It's just so I can, so it's more viewable here. Okay, hit enter. We get that installed. If I do tree Prometheus. I don't even know if I have tree installed here. Prometheus. Prometheus, Grafana, plugins. Oh, I do. Okay. Last dash ALH. Okay, so there's my two guys. They look like they're good. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's again. We've already stopped Prometheus, so let's start it again. So we'll start. Sorry, I said Prometheus, Grafana. Start the Grafana server again. Go back here to where I have it opened up. I'll have to log in again if it doesn't remember me. Admin, admin, login. Refresh this guy. There we go. Now we want to prove that our plugins are in there. So we go down here to configurations, go to plugins. Here we have a plugins. And here we can see there's the diagram. Perfect. If I search for pi, there's the pie chart. So that all got installed. So hooray. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is do a reboot check. I always like to do a reboot check because you think you have things set up, but you don't. So let me do a sudo reboot on this on the server itself. And my hope is everything reboots, Grafana comes back up, my, my plugins are there, and from there we'll call it good. I shouldn't have to start the server. Start the server, start the, the uh, Grafana server. Okay, we're up again. So now we do take a take a status on that. See oh, okay. the system control status uh, Grafana server. There we go. So we're running. We should be good. So let me go back here to open it up. We got three thousand. You can see I'm in. If I go back to my plugins. Looks like they're there. Good. Okay, so last thing, which is probably a good thing to do at this level. I mean, there's more, if you're doing all your configuration, a lot more complex configurations, but if you're just doing something simple right now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do after you do this is change your admin password because admin admin is pretty dumb. So here I'll click on my user because I'm admin. I will change the password, put my old password in, admin. New password, which is literally for me, I'm gonna put the word password as, in, as password just for this video, because you know I'm gonna change it later. So we'll change the password to password. Then we'll come down here, sign out. Make sure that new password works. Boom, and log in. Okay, cool. So there you go, Grafana's installed. Uh, we haven't, inst I have not installed any data sources. I haven't done any other configurations beyond this. So there's a lot more to go before we can start getting graphs and cool stuff, but we have a basic Grafana installed. We have it on a different hard drive. We've installed a couple of plugins and we've changed the password on our admin user. So 
bare bones, good to go. Initial start. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.